Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Audrey Rose. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It looks like this. And the little notification bell next to it. So you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and sweet Saturday when we make something delicious and sweet and vegan, of course. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a vegan pot pie. And as I say that, I feel like I'm having deja vu because I filmed this video before, last week, edited it, edited it, got it edited, and I was getting ready to schedule it, accidentally deleted it. Yes, I deleted this video. So here I am again, filming this video because I just couldn't, I couldn't come to terms with showing you guys any other recipe because I absolutely love this recipe and I had to refilm it to show you guys. So anywho, vegan pot pie, let's get veggie. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So. Um, I'm going to be doing a voiceover once I start shooting overhead because otherwise you'll be hearing this the whole time. And this is the new cooktop that I told you guys I was getting uh, and I had no idea that it would be this loud. So I have to return it and get another one that is not as loud. But anyways, for this recipe you're going to need half of a cup of vegan butter. So here I've already added half of an onion chopped up and I'm also going to add some salt and pepper. So it's just like a pinch of salt and pepper just to add a little extra flavor. And I'm going to add a third of a cup of flour and that's going to help to thicken up the sauce. And we're going to cook this for about two minutes until it becomes uh, nice and yellow. And next I'm going to slowly add in our vegetable broth and this is three-fourths of a cup of vegetable broth and you're gonna whisk it as you pour it in so that it can mix in really well and you don't want like huge clumps so that's why you're mixing it in slowly next we're gonna be adding in two-thirds of a cup of almond milk the same way we just added in the vegetable broth just slowly and whisk it in little by little. Just continue to mix until everything is well combined and nice and smooth. And next we're going to go ahead and add our seasoning and our spices. We have one teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, fourth of a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a fourth of a teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. As usual, the link will be down below for the full recipe with all of the spices and everything. And we're going to go ahead and mix that together. And I'm adding in half, a uh, one medium uh, potato chopped up, and it's just a raw potato. And I'm also going to be adding in one 16-ounce bag of frozen veggies. And this is just uh, green beans, carrots, peas, and corn. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it all up so that the sauce gets married all together. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it into my pie crust. I have a pie crust recipe. I'll also link that down below. It's very easy. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in a 9-inch pie, pie pan. And we're going to go ahead and smooth it all up top so it can be nice and pretty. And then we're going to go ahead and add our second layer of our pie crust to cover it all up. And I'm going to just smooth this down so that uh, both pie crusts meet together. And then I'm going to just cut a little bit of the excess pie crust from the edges. And I'm going to pinch the corners of my pie crust together to form a pretty little... Uh, pretty little pie crust and of course to seal it all together I added a little butterfly cut out and I'm also going to be adding a couple little slits so that our pie can vent and it doesn't like pop on us while it's in the oven just let out some of that steam and we're going to go ahead and cook this in a preheated oven 425 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes and here I've taken it out and as you can see my edges are a little brown and if you want to avoid that you can do aluminum foil wrap around it like about halfway through. That never works out for me and I don't mind this so I always keep it this way. 
and we're going to go ahead and cut into it. You want to let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes after you take it out of the oven and it'll be much easier to cut into. And there we have it. There is our vegan pot pie. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test camp, and this thing is like scorching hot, but we're going in. Mmm. Every time I make this and every time I have it, it always feels like the first time I'm tasting it all over again because it's so good. Mmm. Wow. So that's it you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, hashtag veggie rolls, hashtag let's get veggie. If you make this recipe or any of my other recipes, I would love to see what you made and see how you liked it. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon.